Hi, I'm Eddie with Dream Factory, and we are an enterprise-grade iPass for any mobile, web, and IoT application. Our aim is to provide clients with the quickest and most secure way to transform their data through RESTful API fabrication. Once you log into your Dream Factory instance, the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to your Services tab at the top of your page. From there, you'll want to click on the Create button on the left-hand side. On this page, you should see a Service Type drop-down menu and all the provided connectors that we offer within our software. For today, we will be testing the SFTP file storage connector that can be found under the File option. Here you'll also notice that Dream Factory supports several other types of file systems including AWS S3, Azure, FTP, local file storage, and many more. Today I'll be using the SFTP connector to demonstrate just how easy it is to create a REST API for your SFTP servers. After clicking the SFTP connector, it'll bring you to the Info tab of your service. Here, it will give you the option to provide a name, label, and description for your service. Keep in mind that the latter two fields are optional, but the name field is vital to your service as it will serve as part of your REST URL structure for this connector. After filling in these fields, the only thing left to do under this tab will be to leave the active radio check to ensure that the service is immediately available. Next, you'll want to navigate to your config tab. Here, you'll enter the authentication credentials used to connect to your SFTP server. Dream Factory provides several fields, but the only five required fields are host, port, username, password, and root folder. After saving these changes, you'll want to navigate to the API Docs tab found at the top of your page. On this page, select the newly configured SFTP service that you've just created. You should see several different endpoints that you can test on your SFTP server. Keep in mind that these endpoints are live so any changes made from your Dream Factory instance will immediately impact your connected server. If your root folder already contains a few files, go ahead and navigate down to the get forward slash folder path endpoint. Once you click this, you'll then need to click the tryout button. Next, within the folder path field, Simply set the folder name you would like to target and click Execute. The following output should be all the files or directories within the configured root folder in the form of a REST API. And there you have it. Within just a few minutes, Dream Factory is able to remotely connect to your SFTP server in the form of a REST API. This will allow you to securely upload, download, and make any modifications to your root folder content. This is only part of what Dream Factory is capable of. As I mentioned earlier, we are compatible with several file system types, but we also have native connectors for many types of services. We offer many ways to secure, monitor, govern, transform your data with services like admin user receipts, roles and API keys, limiting and logging, event scripting, and much more. This opens up the door to many opportunities for streamlined integration. For example, building microservice tools like data source dashboards or smart customer directories can all utilize our software. To learn more about Dream Factory, feel free to use the link in the description to set up your free trial. Thanks for watching.